Good morning, you guys. It is Wellness Wednesday and, you know, kiddos are starting back to school and I want to make sure that their bodies are healthy. So I've asked Dr. Homer Johnson from Next Level Chiropractics in Farmers Branch to come out and help us with their posture. Uh, let's come on over here because we've got Amelia who is about to go into the ninth grade and she's holding her backpack the way that maybe some kids would be holding it, right? Um, so let's Tell everybody what's wrong with this, first of all. Thank you, Sonia. So <laughs> let's take a look at what's going on here. So obviously we have one strap on, kind of the way uh, it was done when we were younger, and still looks like it's done that way. So if we can have you bring both straps up, we always want to use both straps, make sure we have a wide strap with some padding on there. If you'll notice, it's hanging a little low here and a little loose to her back. So what we'd ask you to do is tighten up both straps so it's nice and snug to your back, please. And on weight, you really want to look for 10 to 20% of your student's body weight for the max backpack capacity. So you really don't want to overload. What happens then is the weight's pulling you backwards. Yeah. You know, leaning back, and then you'll have to lean, lean forward a bit. And you have to lean forward to counteract that. And that's really the main thing you want to avoid. This can create long-term alignment problems and, and poor posture. That must be what happened to me. I'm just kidding. All right, we've got Gloria here who's doing a lot of stuff that kids usually do. Read or she's got her phone hidden, but she was texting earlier, <laughs> right? So if she's looking down reading, just sitting there doing homework, what's wrong there? Perfect. So some main things we want to look at, uh, we're off center here. We really want to come, if you don't mind, right to the center here. We want to keep the chin back as much as possible and the head back, even raising the book up so we're not looking down so much. Again, that forward flexion is one of the biggest problems we have in the youth and in adults today. Ideally, we'd have our feet flat on the floor, knees at 90, hips at 90, and the arms raised, head back. That's pretty much the best position. And then movement, so small neck circles and just stretching periodically. Okay, so we're going to have to get something for beneath the feet. All right, we got Miss Reagan here. Reagan's holding so many books because she's ready to go back to school, <laughs> back to ninth grade, entering high school. All right, so what's going on here? Awesome. So again, we see the offset posture here. So if you can stand securely on both feet. Uh, the books, you can really, there's no great way to carry a heavy load over time. So you want to constantly shift it. You have them on the right side if you can, then the left side in between classes or right in front with there. You want to keep them close and snug to your body and keep your core secure. Okay. Thank you to our chiropractor. Thank you to our great models. I hope that your body is safe, nice and healthy as you go back to school. Now you know how to do it and tell all your friends to do it the same way. I'm sure they will, right? All right, Greg. You working on that posture in there? I, I am. I'm trying to stand up straight. You know, I have to be careful when I sit down, though. I tend to, you know, slump when I sit down. So, uh, so good information there as always. All right. See